This is Elizabeth. And this is Mark. In 2014, we built this inn in the heart of Oregon wine country, within close proximity to hundreds of amazing wineries. Our goal is to ensure our guests have the best possible wine country food experiences, and we want to show you how we do that. Today we are making cinnamon scones. The key to this recipe is our house-made cinnamon chips, which are folded into the dough and bursting with cinnamon flavor. We'll start by showing you how to make the chips. This is something that must be done in advance. To make the cinnamon chips, mix 2 thirds cup granulated sugar with 3 tablespoons of cinnamon. I use a high quality Vietnamese cinnamon. Add 2 tablespoons of melted coconut oil and 2 tablespoons of light corn syrup. Stir it all together to make a thick paste. Then scoop the paste onto a sheet of parchment paper on a baking sheet and place another sheet of parchment paper on top. Use a rolling pin to roll it all out to a thin layer about an eighth of an inch thick. Remove the top sheet of parchment paper and then place it in a 200 degree oven to bake for about 35 minutes, then cool completely. Once the sheet is completely cooled, place it on a cutting board that's been dusted with a little cornstarch. Use a pizza cutter or a knife to cut thin strips an eighth to a quarter of an inch wide. Cut all the way down one side of the sheet, then rotate it and cut it down the other side to make tiny squares. These are your cinnamon chips. Break them apart and store them in a Tupperware container. This makes more than you will need for a single recipe of scones, but they will keep for several months in the refrigerator. Now we will make the scones. In a large bowl, mix 13 and a half ounces of flour, a teaspoon of salt, and four teaspoons of baking powder. I use the box grater method to incorporate my butter. Take a stick of butter or four ounces that has been frozen solid, and using the large holes of a box grater, grate the frozen butter into small pieces on a cutting board. Mix the frozen shreds of butter into the flour mixture, stirring it up to coat each of the shreds with flour. Then add a third cup of granulated sugar and a third cup of the cinnamon chips. Stir it all together and then add about a cup and a half of buttermilk and stir it together to make a nice dough. If necessary, you can add a little extra buttermilk to get it to stick together, but you don't want it to be too wet. Once the dough comes together, turn it out onto a lightly floured surface and pat it down into a circle an inch to an inch and a half thick. Then fold the dough over on top of itself and pat it down again and continue folding it over itself and patting down. This process is very important to create nice flaky layers in your scone. Once you've folded it about four or five times, pat it down to about an inch to an inch and a half thick and begin cutting your scones. Use a sharp knife to cut squares about three inches wide and cut the squares into triangles. Then take your scraps and refold and cut them until you've used all the dough. When you're done, you should have about eight to 10 scones. At this point, you can freeze some or all of the scones for later use. This allows you to bake exactly the number you want in the morning. They can go directly from the freezer to the oven. Before baking, brush the tops with a little whipping cream or half and half to help them get nice and golden. Then bake them for 16 to 20 minutes in an oven that has been preheated to 425 degrees. While the scones bake, we'll make a cream cheese icing to drizzle on top. Start with two tablespoons of cream cheese, add a tablespoon of powdered sugar, a half teaspoon of vanilla, and two tablespoons of milk. And then use a fork to stir it all together to make a nice icing. If, like me, you forgot to soften your cream cheese first, transfer the mixture to a microwave 
for a few seconds at low power. Then you'll be able to stir it more easily. Stir it all together until it forms a nice creamy icing. Then put the icing into a pastry bag to make it easier to drizzle onto your scones. Our scones are now out of the oven and a drizzle of this cream cheese icing is the final touch. These cinnamon scones are delicious with a cup of coffee any time of day, but especially first thing in the morning. Find the full recipes at the links below and like or subscribe to this channel. Better yet, come visit us in Oregon wine country. We'd love to serve you some cinnamon scones.